Hey you bro, everyone, welcome to the Mind of Ro page. Hotep, Alafia. I am Ifa TT Lyo, also known as Oba Jaguna. So today I'm going to do a video on cleansing baths. My last video I made was um, actually a hookah time version of my videos. Basically what we're doing is we're smoking the hookah. We'll talk about some woke subjects. And the last video, our last hookah time was based off of Christmas truths and Christ consciousness. And that same day, I actually made another video on how a brain injury made me psychic. So if you want to go check out those videos, go subscribe to my YouTube channel at Mind of Row. I also have a TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at Mind of Row, and a Facebook business page at The Mind of Row. I also do aura readings, and I do them over video chat. So if you're interested in aura reading go ahead and find me at mind of row on facebook and i'll do an order reading or reading for you and just hit me up send me a message and we'll set an appointment up so let's talk about cleansing baths i'm not sure if i like this filter because it makes me all glitchy and weird and stuff so i hope with time it starts to get a little better so i'm just going to give a list of multiple cleansing baths that you could do basically what cleansing baths is is to put energy within you that you feel like you're lacking in so a lot of people are, are familiar with baths that are meant to neutralize you, which has to do with salt and um, baking soda and stuff like that. So these baths I'm about to give you is not, here, is, is not meant to neutralize you. These baths are actually meant to give you energy. So the first bath is for grounding or a sense of security. If you're really, if you're feeling really ungrounded, especially nowadays with all the crap that's going on in the world right now, it's normal to feel really insecure, really fearful, really anxious, not knowing what's going to happen. And if you don't want to feel scared or anxious anymore, and if you want to feel more grounded, also if you want to feel more grounded in your higher purpose as well, if you want to feel more comfortable being on this planet in general because sometimes we have a lot of stuff that goes on and we feel like we don't want to be here so if you want to feel more grounded in this purpose and in this place and in your purpose and stop being for feeling fearful what you're going to do is take a red bath basically what that means is you're going to take a bath with red apples you're going to chop them up into little pieces not too small because you don't want them to go into the drain big enough to where they don't get sucked into the drain big enough you're able to grab them out the water whenever you need to when you're done with the bath about little squares or little cubes um you're going to cube up your red apples and you could do the seeds and throw everything in there raspberries cherries anything that's considered a root so carrots potatoes radishes ginger herbs like rosemary and rain water Collect rainwater and the stormier the day is and the more thunder and the more lightning there is, the better because this type of energy in the water is going to make you feel more purposeful and more powerful. So rainwater, throw some rainwater in the bath with you and essential oils like clove oil, cedar oil and tea tree oil. Don't put too much because those have really strong scents. They smell really strong, so to let you know ahead of time, if you use any of these oils, they're very strong, so only do maybe two or three each. You don't want to overdo it, or people are going to be plugging their nose when they walk around you afterwards. The next one is for joy in your life. Creativity, sexuality, sexuality, sensuality. Basically what this is, is an Oshun or Heteru bath. I made a couple videos on who Oshun and Hetero is. So if you're feeling really grumpy and it's hard for you to find any joy or happiness or playfulness in your life or you're feeling you're getting a lot of creative blocks or you're feeling sexually closed off or overly sexual, you don't want to be running around messing with everybody, this is going to be a good bath for you. So anything that's considered citrus fruit... So oranges, lemons, um, grapefruit, sweet fruits like mangoes, melons, passion fruit to help you feel more passionate, sweet stuff like vanilla, honey, cinnamon has a strong scent to it that reminds you of good times in your life, reminds you of joy. So cinnamon is going to be a good scent to have in your bath. Also, rose petals brings a lot of passion. Red rose petals, yellow rose petals, pink rose petals brings you passion. Dandelions. Water from any natural source. Not a puddle. 
I would suggest to stay away from lakes, and the reason why I say that is because if you're from Washington State, where I'm from, it tends to be kind of dirty, and also because lakes tend to have a little more stagnant water, so you want to have a natural water source that moves a lot, like rivers, oceans, waterfalls, stuff like that, because the energy of flowing water is the flowing energy you want to have within yourself, so collect water that's from flowing flowing water and put that in your water or in your bath as well and the, a good essential oil for for this bath also is going to be jasmine anything that's flowers so basically a lot of flowers for this type of energy for joy creativity sexuality sensuality happiness stuff like that flowers gives a lot of that joy if you get depressed a lot of depression keeps you from feeling these so flowers actually helps heal a lot of depression so take a bath with all types of flowers that'll help with give you the energy that you need as well help heal that energy the next one is willpower so if you're feeling really powerless a lot of the crap is going on in the world right now to make us feel really powerless we feel like our power belongs to elites and the government and blah 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 or maybe you got out of an maybe you're dealing with an abusive family member or partner or you just got out of a relationship with an abusive person your willpower tends to be very suppressed at those times so to get your willpower back the best thing to do is take baths with yellow fruits and vegetables so anything that's going to invigorate you in a way to lift up that heavy energy so when we lose our willpower it's because we feel like we're being compressed and pushed down so to be able to feel light again on our toes so we can have that willpower to achieve the goals that we have best foods or best fruits for that to take a bath in is going to be lemons pineapples bananas bell peppers peppers give a lot of willpower but you don't want to do anything too spicy because you don't want to burn your eyes or burn your skin or or your or where the sun don't shine and stuff like that so bell peppers is going to be a good pepper to use to um, bring them bring in that heat that you need for your willpower and the best essential oil is going to be sandalwood for your for your bath and lemongrass is really good for willpower as well so the next one is for a broken heart every single one of us has been through this we've all had our heart broken so if you're going through a phase where you were dealing with a lot of heartbreak either you lost somebody either through a breakup or maybe somebody passed away or maybe anything from losing um, a job or maybe you moved away and you miss your friends and family whatever the case is and you feel a little depressed you feel like your heart is broken and these are some lists of things you could take a bath with that will help heal your broken heart kiwis limes green apples cucumbers sweet grass so sweet grass a lot of people don't know this if you google an image of sweet grass you'll realize sweet grass grows everywhere it's in front of your in front of your face every single day it grows in front of your job it grows on the ground you walk on on a regular basis it's grown in your yard so google a picture of sweet grass and you'll realize it's everywhere sweet grass is a great grass a great herb to take a bath in when you're dealing with a lot of heartbreak energy and the best essential oil for that is cypress oil and again rainwater the more soothing and relaxing the rainy day feels, that's going to be the type of rainwater that you want to take a bath in because what it's doing is washing away your pain. You want to have that energy of washing away your pain. So rainwater, um, not so much a stormy day or like the last time, like earlier when I mentioned rainwater, this is going to be more from just in the average, like just kind of cooling or calm rainy day. This is the type of rainwater you want to take a bath in when you're when you're feeling like you're dealing with some heartbreak. The next was the next one is intuition, clairvoyance, psychic being psychic or to help you connect with the spirit realm. If you feel like you have a really closed third eye, this is a bath you could take to help you connect with the spirit realm. So these berries are dark that I'm about to list. So mixed a mixed berry bath with blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and purple grapes, lavender. The best essential oil for this energy is going to be frankincense so the dark energy in the fruit actually helps you connect with dark matter so dark matter is where the great divine web of infinite knowledge is so that's why you would take ba a bath with dark fruit it helps it has the energy of 
dark matter within the fruit. So when you take a bath with this fruit, it will help you connect with the spirit realm, dark matter, clairvoyance, stuff like that. So the next one is a white bath. A white bath is basically the cure all bath. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling um, angry, this is a good one. If you're feeling really hot headed and angry and it's hard for you to accept things, um, anything you're going through, a breakup, you're um, just stressed out from work, anything that's bothering you, the white bath is gonna be the go-to for basically anything. And the ingredients for that is coconut water or coconut milk or both, white flower petals, fresh basil, cow's milk, rice water. When I say rice water, what that is, is you're going to pour raw rice, white rice, in like a cup or bowl of water. You're not going to cook it or heat it up. You're just going to let it sit for a moment until the white... Um, the whiteness starts to kind of get sucked into the water. You're just going to let it sit for probably just about five minutes. And then you're going to pour the white water, the, ri the white rice water into your bath. Not the rice, but just the water itself. That's what I mean when I say rice water. And snow. So when it snows, collect snow and put it in a bag or put it in a Tupperware and put it in your freezer. I have snow in my freezer. It's great for white baths. You take some snow and you put it in your in your bathtub and also peppermint essential oils peppermint essential oils um lifts up a lot of he heavy energy and and basically poo poo in or aura whatever you want to call it <laughs> heavy energy and hotness when we're feeling constantly angry temperamental peppermint oil will cool you off it gives you a really cool energy and make sure you put your head in the water as well you want to make sure you put your ori in your in, in your head or your tap whatever whatever you want to call it, whatever background you're from you want to put your head energy or your soul energy from your head into the water don't drown yourself but just um Make sure your head is in the water, especially if you do a white bath. You should be doing this with every of the baths that I just listed. But most importantly, with a white bath, you definitely want to make sure you're putting your head in the bath so your head is soaking in that white light energy. So warning, when you do these baths, do not put salt, baking soda, or soap in it because these energies are meant to neutralize you do not want to neutralize the energy of the fruit the whole point of taking these baths is to be able to soak in the energy of the fruit and the herbs and the essential oils and whatever waters from the earth that you're putting in your bath so you don't want to neutralize it or wash the energy out you want to make sure the energy stays in the water and you want to make sure that you are soaking in the water you're soaking in the energy of the water within your aura and, and within your body. So do not add salt, baking soda, or soap. And don't wash it off when you're done. So it's normal when you take a bath, you want to be clean, you want to be soapy and sudsy and everything. So if you really need to make sure to wash dirt off of you, wash yourself off first with soap and then take the bath and soak in this energy. Because what's the point of soaking in the energy? Then you go use soap and wash it all off. So you want to make sure you're holding that energy with, within your body when you get out of the bath for a while. So you don't have to have all the ingredients and everything that I just said. Even if you just have one, I mean, it, one is okay. You don't have to be like, oh, I can't do it because I don't have everything. It's okay. You could just have bits and pieces of the recipes. Not a big deal. Um, these are just examples of things that you could use that will help uh, with your auric field. But you don't have to have everything that I listed, okay? So if it's a really extreme case and you feel like your energy, your aura is totally messed up from whatever is going on in life, then doing it for seven days straight is gonna really clean your aura. So if you decide to take these baths and you're like, wow, I love the way they feel, go ahead and shoot me a message or leave a comment on this video and let me know how it feels. I just did a seven day um, bath ritual uh, I think it was last week and I took a bath with different fruit every day of the week for seven days in a row. I think I missed one day but I made up for it. But anyways, um, I realized that I felt way better. I was stressed out about some things. I don't want to talk about it right now but there were some things that was bothering me and I took these seven day bath cleansing baths and I felt absolutely way better. I did realize that um, apples do make me feel really grounded. That if you pay attention to the way apples feel and how tough they are, 
that energy actually goes into the bath and goes inside us when we take baths with them. So apples really do make you feel a lot tougher if you take a bath with them. And something I noticed with the bananas, um, of course you want to chop them up and squish them. Oh, that, I'm going to add this in too. When you take these baths, when you have your recipe together, what you want to do is chop up all your fruit, chop up all your vegetables, and get your water and everything you have, and you're going to mix it in a bowl, and you're going to squish you're going to squish it all together with your hands. You're basically going to, you're going to make love with your hands and you're going to squish it all. And you're going to put your intent into the bowl of your fruit and your herbs and your essential oils. And then you're going to pour it into the water and it puts way more energy in it, in it because intent is a is a major thing when it comes to energy and getting en energy from fruit and getting energy from our first, from our souls. Um, not purpose but our our soul's intention it works a lot better when you do it that way versus just throwing it in the bath you want to you know make it with love and intent and then pour it into the bathtub so something i notice um so apples make me when, when i take a bath with apples i notice they make me feel really tough when i took a bath with bananas they made me feel really goofy actually which is really weird because they're white they actually took a lot of heaviness and seriousness off of me so bananas is actually a good thing to actually add to your white bath as well because it's white anything white is going to be a good thing to add to your your white bath i noticed when i took a bath with um with the bananas they made me feel really happy when i got out of the bath they made me feel really funny and goofy and i felt like all the energy and the goop and the whatever it was was in my aura i felt a lot more light when i took a bath with oranges i realized i felt way more refreshed it made me feel like my aura was clean i felt like i was definitely more joyful i felt more creative i really did feel more creative and there's something, I don't know what it is about oranges, but when I take baths with oranges, I feel, I do, I feel really, really fresh afterwards. Um, when I took a bath with dark fruit, I did realize that they feel a little heavier than bananas and oranges, but I did realize they did make me feel like I was more connected with dark matter beings and this the spiritual realm i felt like the physical realm faded away a little more easier for me so i did notice that a mixed berry bath does make me feel more aware of the non-physical realm that is beyond this illusion that we're in currently that's how i felt um i'm sure it can make anybody else feel any different so everybody's different but whatever it does for you go ahead and shoot me a message or leave a comment and let me know how it makes you feel so my next video is going to be on i'm going to return back to doing some meditation videos i'm working on a seven series meditation um compilation for the netaru basically what that is is the egyptian gods so the last two videos i made was on geb and heteru so this video i'm going to make is going to be for our willpower and it's going to be based on Horu, who is Horus, to invoke the energy of Horus within herself. So that's going to be my next week video. So go ahead and look out for that. So before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Mind of Ro and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I have more wisdom and love to share with you. I hope everybody is having a cleansing night. Namaste. Hotep. Adabo. Peace.